Edwina Dunn is co-founder of the business that created the Tesco Club Card and she's also chair of the Your Life campaign. She's set to publish a new report this week on closing the STEM's skills gap. So, to, uh, Edwina, good to see you. Now, um, briefly, what are the recommendations? What is Your Life and what are, what are you proposing? Well, it was a three-year campaign to increase the talent pipeline by particularly focusing on maths and physics. So industry needs um, many more STEM candidates. Um, there are 50,000 shortfall, 40,000 shortfall each year. By the year 2030, Goodness. there are going to be 1.3 million new jobs that require STEM. So how are we going to bridge that gap then? I mean... Philip Hammond's putting more money into maths teaching, for example. Which is terrific. I really welcome it. I think, you know, schools and students follow where the measures and the rewards take them. At the moment, schools are rewarded on the grades people achieve. What we want to start measuring are the fact that STEM subjects have a disproportionately higher value and return to industry. So we need to get more through them. All right. I mean, what, at the moment, I think something like only one in 11 A-level students takes maths and physics. Why is that, do you think? And it's even worse for girls, one in 14. Goodness. Um, and so, you know, there's a huge problem there. And I think it's because, uh, on the whole, um, they don't understand that these are not dead-end subjects, which is currently their thinking. These are actually the subjects that unlock the door to exciting international and very highly paid jobs. Do, I mean, do, do we need businesses getting into schools and colleges more to sort of bang the drum for these subjects? I mean, we, companies like BA Systems are pretty good at that, aren't they? They are, and in fact, they have been one of the sponsors of Your Life. And so, you know, when industry does connect with schools, um, the visibility of those jobs can be very inspirational, very exciting. But normally careers advice um, is a little erratic, um, a little old fashioned. And one of the things we've done with the campaign is create a free app which talks about the new jobs that are coming. And so it connects people with the idea of what will be. Right. I mean, because people often talk about engineering, people associate it with sort of blokes in blue overalls getting grimy. And that's completely not the reality at all these days, is it? No, I think, you know, most young people will love playing with their iPhone or their iPad. What they don't realise is that behind that is engineering. And the key to engineering is physics. Um, or maths on the way. So that's what we need to um, explain. What about you? Did, did you study STEM subjects at uh, school or university? I didn't, sadly. I seem to have survived regardless. I was actually a geographer. Um, and, you know, I, 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 today I endorse the sciences, but I think there is some element of science in geography. Yeah, well, geog well the Prime Minister did geography, so it doesn't seem to have done her, her too badly either, does it? Not really? too shabby. All right, Edwina Dunn. Good to see you. And uh, the report's coming out on Thursday, I believe. It is indeed. Good stuff. All right, thanks Thank for you. that.